Uh, Shalom from Jerusalem. This is uh, Luden once again, and uh, we're here to uh, continue to tell you that uh, uh, September uh, 2011 is going to be a crucial time uh, for the nation of Israel. Uh, as uh, I've been telling you all along, that the uh, so called Palestinians uh, will uh, confront the United Nations and uh, will ask the United Nations to declare uh, them as a nation within a nation. Uh, first, I must tell you that uh, Abu Mazen refuses uh, to recognize Israel as a uh, nation, as a people, and uh, he has uh, declared that uh, he wants Jerusalem. Uh, you can see right behind me. Uh, this is Jerusalem uh, to my left, your right. You will see all the outskirts of Jerusalem, and he has declared uh, this Abu Mazen, the so-called Palestinian uh, leader that Jerusalem will be his capital. As you know, uh, in our uh, uh, history, uh, Jerusalem has been uh, the capital of uh, Israel, uh, the capital of the Jewish people for thousands of years. And now they're claiming and they want uh, Jerusalem to be their capital. So I'm asking you uh, this my morning, uh, uh, 10 o'clock uh, a.m. here in Jerusalem, uh, for you to pressure your uh, government leaders, uh, wherever you may be across the world, and to tell your uh, government leaders not to vote uh, for this so-called UN resolution in the month of September. Uh, reports coming out of uh, Jerusalem is that uh, in September they uh, might uh, call for another antifada, which means another uprising against uh, the Israeli government, and uh, we uh, are asking you to uh, pressure your government leaders to uh, uh, have this so-called resolution uh, not passed through the United Nations. As you know, we had first and second antifadas uprising, and uh, they were coming uh, all against uh, not just the government, but against the uh, civilians and the populace here in Israel. Uh, so please, pressure your government leaders. On the other hand, King Abdullah of Jordan and uh, so-called Abu Mazen, the so-called Palestinian leader, uh, have met and they're discussing uh, what to do in regards to the uh, uh, building of uh, uh, Jewish homes here in Israel. Uh, they are disagreeing everything that has to do with uh, with Israel building and Israel maintaining its identity as a, as a Jewish nation, as a Jewish people. Uh, we have uh, Abu Mazen uh, uh, just uh, had a uh, so-called agreement with uh, Hamas and Hamas continues to rain down rockets uh, to the uh, region of uh, Sterot, uh, Ashkelon, Beersheba and even as far as uh, the Negev uh, all that uh, region there, they continue to fire rockets. And I'm asking uh, you, United Nations, if you're listening, uh, why are you uh, trying to negotiate with a known supporter of terrorism named Abu Mazen, who uh, has uh, ties uh, to Hamas, and now they are exchanging uh, uh, so-called uh, prisoners, political prisoners within each other. Yet Gilad Shalit uh, continues to be held a uh, captive prison uh, chain uh, day and night in Gaza. Uh, why don't uh, they uh, show uh, a sign of gesture and release Gilad Shalit uh, so Gilad Shalit can be home uh, uh, in Israel with his family. Uh, Gilad Shalit has been uh, in prison uh, or in bondage uh, actually uh, by terrorist uh, uh, Hamas and uh, they uh, will not even let the Red Cross uh, go and um, see uh, Gilad Shalit. Uh, so while uh, the uh, so-called Palestinians and uh, so-called uh, Hamas terrorists exchange prisoners, why don't they release Gilad Shalit? So we're asking all our friends and partners to please pressure your government leaders uh, to vote against the so-called uh, Palestinian uh, uh, recognition as a nation. Uh, we need your support. Uh, to pressure your leaders. As you know, in Syria, uh, Hassan al-Assad continues to uh, uh, kill his people. Uh, in the past few days, over 300 uh, uh, Syrian civilians have been killed because they want uh, change uh, in, the, uh, in their country. 
as you know, the Islamic, uh, the Islamic Brotherhood, or the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, uh, they have taken over Egypt and they have already called for Sharia law. Uh, in uh, Lebanon, uh, the uh, continuation to the Hariri uh, assassination story continues. The United Nations had recognized that uh, uh, Hezbollah uh, was behind the, the plot, the assassination uh, of uh, the uh, Prime Minister of Lebanon. So we're asking you to uh, uh, pressure your leaders uh, in your countries uh, to vote against this resolution. And I need to tell you that Judea and Samaria are up uh, on the negotiating table. The uh, quartet, which is actually, I believe, is uh, Germany, uh, France, the US, and uh, Russia, uh, are negotiating behind the scenes. Uh, they have a so-called shelf agreement uh, that uh, uh, talks about Judea and Samaria and for that matter Abu Mazen has said that he wants all Judea and Samaria as we speak uh, as he was going to Washington not long ago uh, to meet with uh, President uh, Obama uh, and uh, and uh, his uh, uh, delegation he actually uh, said on the plane to the reporters that he is reclaiming Jerusalem he wants Judea and Samaria to be part of the agreement uh, for him to be uh, recognized as a nation and he uh, has declared Judea, Samaria and Jerusalem. So please, uh, this is uh, the latest news from Israel. Uh, we need your support. Uh, we need to raise the minimum five, I mean the minimum 3,000 shekels, the maximum uh, three, uh, 5,000 shekels, the maximum, the minimum 3,000. And you can help us via PayPal so that we can continue to inform you the news from Jerusalem, Israel. Please, you can give via PayPal to Judah, J U D A H 92 at gmail.com. That is Judah, J U D A H 92 at gmail.com. We need your support so that we can continue to to show you the land of Israel, to inform you the latest news out of Israel. As you can see way behind me, these are the hills of Jerusalem. We need your support. We need uh, 5,000 shekels to maximum, the minimum 3,000 shekels uh, at once. So please help via PayPal to Judah, J U D A H 92 at gmail.com. That is Judah, via PayPal uh, to Judah, uh, J U D A H 92 at gmail.com. If you want to call me, you can do so to area code 972 52 635 7088. These are the latest news coming out of Jerusalem, Israel.